Greetings ladies and gentlemen. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the four major contenders in the 3D generation image to 3D text to 3D field. That is Meshi, Hyperhumans Rodan, Tripio AI, and Hitem 3D. So what I have done uh, is I've taken these two images and I've given each of these three, four programs uh, this same image to see how they handle it, to see how they do. Uh, and what I've got for you in this video is the results of that. Let's start with the first one, which is Meshi.ai. Here's what we've got for Meshi, and we'll come back after we've had a quick look at everything and look at the uh, wireframe, the topology, and uh, that sort of thing. But here we have Meshi AI with our Space Marine, Space Soldier character. Here's what the character looks like again a little side by side and here's what Meshi has accomplished. Uh, one thing I will give Meshi credit for is that it did a manage one two three four five fingers that are separated and have nice clear distinction. Uh, what I will uh, criticize Meshi for is that texturing looks really bad. The texturing on Meshi needs a lot of work. Uh, so that's what we got for Meshi on the Space Marine Soldier. And then on the uh, female uh, silver silver warrior, whatever whatever we're gonna call her, here's our here's our source image here, and this is what we've got from Meshi in that regard. Again, we'll look at the uh, actual model in polygons after we take a look at the textured versions. Let's jump over into the next one, and that is Hyperhumans Rodin. Here we've got Hyperhumans Rodin Space Soldier. Uh, and let's compare that with the original source image. What I do note about Hyperhumans Rodin is that the texture color actually looks correct. Like if you look at the color tone and stuff like that, and you look at the texturing that uh, Hyperhumans done here, they look pretty similar. You got little details in the arms. You've got kind of like that, you know, off-white dirt look. Um, in this particular case, and I've had better luck with Hyperhumans Rodin before, but in this particular case, the fingers did not come together well. Now, there are, I just want to preface that there are a lot of settings in these programs where you can uh, adjust certain details uh, and even supply multiple images, like a top-down angle, to help it find the geometry of the fingers and stuff like that. But for the sake of this comparison, I simply gave it one starting image, and that is the image that you're looking at here and uh, saw how well, um, we're, do, we're just testing how well each one performs under the same conditions. So here we have the side-by-side -side comparison. Let's jump over to the, uh, to the, th to the um, silver wa uh, female warrior here. Um, and what we've got uh, is, well, what we've got is this. I, uh, th I'm not sure if I love how that one came out. It's okay-ish. Uh, I've had better results with this character before, and again, the nice thing about Rodin is if you don't get it right the first time, you can hit redo a few times and get something closer to what you're looking for. If we take a look at the fingers, yeah, we did actually get one additional finger, which is not optimal. Um, but again, you can uh, you can redo and you can specify some of the details in the text prompting. Again, comparing apples to apples here, let's jump over to Tripio and uh, see how we did. So here we have Tripio's Space Marine. Let's side by side compare him again. Uh, I'm notic noticing that the color of the texture of the armor looks pretty correct. Like the uh, the color scheme and that sort of thing looks pretty good. Um, we did model the eyes into a bit of a texture uh, instead of just like using them as a as a flat surface. I can understand how the AI would get confused about that. That was a common problem amongst all of them. But uh, generally speaking, the model looks pretty decent. And if we turn around and we look at the back, one thing I noticed about Tripio is it did actually get inventive when it came to the back as compared to uh, Rodin, which did kind of a plain flat back. And as compared to uh, Meshi, which I guess did get a little bit inventive as well. It did, did that do a little bit of detail on the back. I didn't supply it a back image, so we're just kind of letting it come up with what it thinks best. I think the back actually looks pretty good here on Tripio 
3D. And I actually think so far the texturing and the modeling looks the best. Let's look at uh, Trippio 3D's Female Silver Warrior. And uh, that's what we got. We've got the right number of fingers and one thumb, I think. They're, uh, yeah, they're, I mean, they're there. They're there. The uh, PBR texture or whatever it is, maybe it's shaded. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, it's a texture. It's uh, maybe it look look better under different lighting. I think it's, hmm, yeah. Anyway, you you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Let's jump over into the surprise of uh, this whole experience for me, and that is high tem 3D. So here we've got our high tem 3D space soldier. Let us compare him to the actual image. What I'm seeing is a pretty darn good um, looking 3D model. The textures look actually really quite nice compared to, uh, you know, some some 3D model AI generated textures. I mean, they look pretty good. Here's our little zoom in on this guy a little bit here. He's got a little bit of detail and detailing around the uh, center and you notice that it did indeed pick up some of that detailing around center. One thing I really like was how it um, paid attention to the underarm here and if you look at the underarm we actually have these folds and it actually got the folds in there pretty pretty good. Uh, if we look at the fingers we'll see like a heavy glove in this case but that would actually kind of make sense I think for a, for a, for a space marine. Well, I'm also noticing like distinct separation between the fingers uh, pretty distinct sink of separation and actually pretty solid and even looking finger formation right like it's a heavy space glove but for a heavy space glove it looks pretty um well separated and you know if, if we compare to some of the other options that we got well actually meshy did okay rodin did weird stuff with the fingers this time again i've had better better results with rodin uh, and then we have whatever this was here from Tripio, which, um, yeah, definitely didn't do a good job with the fingers that time around. And also, now that I'm looking at it, Tripio did some weird stuff with the front jawline as, as well. It wasn't quite sure how to handle that. I guess that's understandable. Like, if you look at that, it might, you know, you might assume that protrudes. Um, it, it doesn't. I actually have the model for this the, that I screenshotted this from or and then rendered in, in AI. Uh, and it's not meant to do that. The rest of them, I think, got the front guard pretty... Well, you know, whatever. Let's jump back to over to high tem. And, and, and one thing I'll note is that that front guard is actually um, as it should be, right? Like I can tell from the image that it's, it's not meant to protrude excessively, but... Uh, so can high tem apparently the back of the model is uh, nothing special, but it's uh, nothing bad either So I think what it put together on the back is fine and uh, There we have the high tem version of the space shoulder now Let us look at the high tem version of the silver female warrior So let us open up our silver female warrior to have a little side-by-side -side here and one thing I'm noticing is that it is actually really hard to complain about what we've got here as a result um the texturing looks really quite good the um you know the 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 details in the helmet are there generally little i the little you know v is there it's not quite as perfect as it could be but it's pretty good um comparing again like i say to some of the other ones we got there's the trippio version there's the Roden version, and there's the Meshi version. Or again, we're going to look at the model underneath the texturing after. Not all of these platforms are necessarily specialized at doing the texturing yet, and I think they're largely a lot more focused on the modeling, topology, wireframe, polygon placement, and generation. I think some of them plan to do more work on texturing later, uh, but maybe isn't their primary focus, so we can't judge entirely based on how well the texturing is done. That being said, I mean, wow. <laughs> when you look at high tem, you know, after just, you know, for example, clicking the meshy version, clicking the high tem version, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of night and day.
right? Uh, one thing I did notice is the high temp did fail to create leg separation here. You could easily solve that um, just by having a model that stands a little bit more wide-legged apart and then that shouldn't be a problem, but it uh, did get that wrong. It did, however, get the fingers, I think, the best of all. Uh, we have, you know, the right number of fingers, number one, and uh, number two, we have separation, and we have pretty clean-looking digits. We have, again, a bit of a metal-looking gauntlet, which is, again, what the character is we wearing, basically, so it would kind of make sense that it would do that. Uh, so, anyway, there we go. There's the uh, high temp version. I'll have a quick glance for those who are interested at what's beneath the uh, texture because that will sometimes tell a little more about what's going on with the 3D model generation. Here we have the meshy version. And uh, I got to say, uh, you know, spoiler alert, this one is, I would say, the worst job <laughs> I have seen uh, of, the, of the four so far. We've got like a gap and a hole in the side of the helmet I'm noticing there and the 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 you know the what should be smooth and and armor right should be smooth armor is full of divots and grooves and things that are just you know not the way a human would model certainly um let's have a quick glance at our female silver not silver anymore caricature you guys can comment below and let me know what you think of the various modeling uh, and again it should be noted that all of these uh, that I, I fired these through the default settings for all of these right there may be options to increase detail level and to change number of polygons and to do things that might some of these models may have different strengths and weaknesses I'm not going to necessarily say one is definitively better than the rest some might be better at different things. That's the thing with with AI uh, that I've noticed is that there isn't a definitive best necessarily, but some have strengths and weaknesses. But in this particular side by side comparison, when we're when we're doing this image with that image, and we're seeing how they all perform, this is the results we're getting. This is an interesting study, right? That's what we're doing. I'm not necessarily picking favorites or saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying that with what I gave it, this is what we got. Okay, you guys can you know learn from and uh, here's the uh, hyperhuman rodent version of the um, space soldier and again these guys also have the option to multi some of them have the option to upload multiple views and different sort of settings that can improve results you can have more polygons created but again for the base settings of what they all you know s selected this is what we're getting um, here we have the um, a Tripio version. Let's switch over into solid mode. I'll disable wireframe for now since I, uh, some of the other ones don't have wireframe. We won't look at the wire. Well, maybe we'll look at the wireframe in a minute, but uh, here's what we got for the modeling. It looks to me actually smoother, right? Like some of the weird stuff that you see over here on the meshy version. Uh, and I think, you know, meshy 5 AI model. Uh, are they at the different? I think they're about to release their new model. Maybe it's in testing. I think I used. I thought I used the new preview of their of their latest model, but I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, anyway, just by by comparison, yeah, we've got like yeah, like I say some pretty rough uh, surfaces there, whereas the uh, Tripio version is pretty uh, smooth by comparison. Weird super chat. Uh, he's, he's got the super chat jaw. This guy here, uh, and then let's see. We we don't need to look at all these. Let's check out the um, high tem version uh, over here, um, which again to me, and I'm not necessarily an expert model or even a very good one at all. Uh, you guys in the comments who know more about modeling, actually let me know what you think. I'm really curious what a, a you know actual modeler thinks of for example the high tem version because to me that looks quite a lot better smoother cleaner right like we've got you know this sort of weird bunching up here of of the armor leg piece as as it approaches the uh sort of uh clothing texture part right down here right so it's like i should have like this sort of separation uh which we actually see 
over here in the Tripio version. We do actually see that separation, which is actually pretty impressive that it picked up on some of those... De where, where all the other models, even, even the pre other, I would say, one that did it best, which is the Tripio version, all of the other models uh, failed to pick up on that. Rodin kind of got it. Maybe I should try Rodin with a higher resolution for fun uh, with more uh, polygons and see if it does any different. I've had some good results with Rodin in the past. You guys have probably seen some of my videos on that. Again, strengths and weaknesses. All models have strengths and weaknesses. I've had some good, very good results with Rodin. Uh, I haven't used Mishy much myself because I actually haven't had the best results with it. I do believe they're working on a new model. I think Rodin just dropped a new model. Um, Tripio, I'm not. I don't use again, but uh, I have been testing it a little bit here. Uh, but that, but I gotta say, my new. I don't know my new. Uh, <laughs> my new winner, winner, chicken dinner. My. I mean, how can it not be high tem? Look at, I mean, look at the diff, like detail here, right? Like this is when pretty good. When you go, to, when you look at the source image and you look at that model that it's done, that's pretty much usable. I mean, those fingers are a little weird, but again, they are kind of space gauntlets, and you could probably optimize that by providing additional source reference images. Um, if you don't look too close at, at uh, you know, all of these, they would probably be usable. Uh, well, you know, depending how far away you need to be, right? Depending how far away you need to be, how top-down you need your character to be. Absolutely, for a top-down shooter, this would be quite plentiful, plenty, I would say. Uh, and even, this would actually almost even work for some uh, non-graphically perfect, you know, hero characters, almost. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Hope you've enjoyed this look today. At, um, yeah, let's have a quick look here. I mean, that's, I like how, I really like how it's done the armor plating as a, with that degree of separation, right? Like, that's kind of how the image, I think, is meant to look. And Hytem actually captured a lot of that. So, yeah, pretty good. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you later. All right.